we start with a graph and we need two things to run DFS, a stack and a set of visited nodes. Now, let's translate this process into code. We'll begin by initializing a stack to help manage the traversal, along with a set to keep track of visited vertices. Then, we'll add the starting node to both the stack and the visited set to begin the traversal. From node 1, we proceed to node 2, as it is the first unvisited child of node 1. To continue the traversal, we look at the node currently on top of the stack and search for its first unvisited child. We accomplish this by iterating over all of its adjacent nodes using a for loop and checking whether each has already been visited. When we encounter the first unvisited child, we add it to both the stack and the visited set. At that point, we break out of the loop to continue the traversal from the newly discovered node. Finally, let's handle the edge cases. If the current node has no unvisited children, we backtrack by removing it from the top of the stack. We can detect this situation if, after examining all children, no new node was added to the stack. Another important condition to check is whether all vertices have been visited. This occurs when the size of the visited set equals the total number of vertices in the graph. For the complete implementation, you can find a link to the GitHub repository in the description. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next algorithm lesson.